Let's start by choosing our coffee settings. Touch the My Coffee 1 icon and scroll down to choose My Coffee 6. This option will give us increased functionality from the main screen, including dose change buttons. On the top left, we see the motor RPM button, which gives us access to change the motor speed from 600 to 1200 RPM. Let's select 1000 RPM. Next, we can choose the temperature of the grinding chamber from 30 degrees up to 60 degrees. We like to start at 40 degrees Celsius and adjust depending on volume. Finally, touch and hold your chosen dose then scale icon to view the ramp start value, which adjusts when the motor will lower the RPM towards the end of the dose. It is set for 4.5 grams. Access the main menu at the top right corner of the screen, then scroll down to technical settings and motor temp. Here we adjust the temperature at which the fans engage to cool the motor. We've chosen 35 degrees, slightly lower than your grinding temperature. At the same time, we can set the fans to turn on after a dose is ground for a maximum of 15 seconds, which we have chosen here. Finally, scroll down to descending weight, which will enable us to view the gram weight in real time when a dose is ground. Scroll back to the main screen and let's grind some coffee for calibration. You will need to grind two separate doses of your chosen weight, in this case 18 grams, to check what final weight is dispensed. The average of these doses will allow us to adjust our weight compensation to achieve our chosen weight. Our Mythos 2 dosed 18.6 and 18.5 grams respectively. As the average was 0.6 grams over our chosen weight, we press and hold the grinder RPM button until weight compensation appears. We are going to set our weight compensation for plus 0.6 grams as a starting point and fine tune as needed. Let's see how the weight compensation has affected the final weight. The grinder tears automatically when a porter filter is inserted and we have chosen an 18 gram dose. We can see that the display shows a final weight of 18 grams. Using our external calibrated scale though, the dose is out by 0.8 grams. If we grind a second dose to verify, we can see this is also out by 0.8 grams, so we need to calibrate the scale in the grinder. The average of the readings showed the grinder was dispensing 0.8 grams less than what we required of our 18 gram dose. For every 0.2 gram difference, we need to adjust our calibration by 0.1 of a gram. To calibrate, go to the main menu, scroll down to accessories, then calibration. As our grinder displayed an average of 0.8 grams more than the external scale, we need to minus 0.4 grams from our grinder so the scales are calibrated. So let's confirm, exit to the main screen and now time to test the results.